Thoughts On. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett, Four Loco expert Hanrahan. I've tried all the Four Locos, and I've my palate is refined, more and I know all the subtle loco? differences. More than just the green apple one. More than what's, I taste the green apple, and I got a feel for all the other Four Locos while drinking what's that. What's Four Loco? Four Loco is a beer and energy drink combined. It's fourteen percent alcohol. Disgusting. It is, and it is. And this episode is sponsored by Four Loco. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I'm gonna drink alcohol, I'm just gonna grab some like Opsler and chug it. Some what? <laughs> Opsler. It's like. You act I, as if we should know what that is. You act as if that it's, we also drink alcohol. <laughs> it's like. It's fermented fruit. Uh huh. And it's it's a German thing, and it's like. It's like a fruit form of vodka. Cool. And it <laughs> kicks just about as hard as vodka. Okay. And who is the person giving us all this expert advice on vodka? It's me. Samuel. Not gonna even touch for Loco Risley. See, that's a good idea and a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> You know, you should keep it that way. But also, if you decide not to, use Thought Sauna at the register and you'll get 10% off your yeah. Pro Loco. <laughs> Thought Sauna underscore uh, is the code. <laughs> you'll get no money off. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. None whatsoever. You just advertise our, th- our podcast to some random gas station cashier. And it's and great. And we appreciate that. And yeah. We, and we all have a good laugh. Thank you. All of if us. If you could put up... If you could put up, like, signs for our podcast around your schools and universities, that'd also be awesome. I know I'm probably going to start doing that. Not your elementary schools or your Please middle don't. schools. I really don't want to get in trouble with that. Please. Like, could you imagine how much trouble we'd get in if, like, kids Wait, wait, wait. Us... Since when are we telling school people to put posters for thoughts on it in their school when did that start have you did y'all just decide this yeah, <laughs> or yeah, like this, we're, this is our marketing meeting we're getting ready yeah. to see what kind of promotions we're going to use okay and i feel like advertising to seventh graders is our niche market i feel like that's our best demographic so Here i'm going to go to the middle schools dressed as a janitor into the at each class and hand up little posters little cards of thoughts on great yeah we have business cards it's going to be like that uh, fucking scene from, what is it, American Psycho or something? It's my favorite Fall Out Boy song. Hi, everybody. I'm <laughs> Cyan Haskins, and I made the Captain Crunch Ices. Oh, wow. <laughs> also, there are Captain Crunch Ices at this one gas station, and... Uh, it tastes it's, like Captain it, Crunch. It's crazy. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how you did it, Cyan, seeing as you're the one that made them. Yeah, apparently. I'm the one. I did it. That's my doing. My question is like, is it really Captain Crunch if you don't got the crunch? That's a good point. It's you know, kind of like cr- clap, Captain, Captain Slush. Cap, cap, it's not even the slush. Just Captain Slunch. Captain. <laughs> Captain Squanch. Captain Squanch. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just Captain. Dude. Captain Glork. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Bleak. Uh, if y'all see those those out in the wild, get it, get it, dude. Ices are like, like nine cents. Do it. Yeah, they're ninety. Like what? Y- y'all... Yeah, just just stick your head under the fucking fountain and call it a sample. See, yeah, yeah. people don't care. That's the best. Do advice. it. People don't care. All right. Well, with that being said, let's get on to our first segment. Cool. This is my law, and it is in, from Rhode Island, and this is great because. It says it is illegal to race horses on the highway. Two horses in a row. That's great. You could have two horses in a row when you're racing. Maybe okay. like maybe like one if the first one runs oh, out I of meant, energy. I meant just like two weeks in a row. Just like, here we are. Yeah. Here's the thing. This is based in Rhode Island. You walk five minutes in either direction, and suddenly the law no longer applies to you because you're out of Rhode Island. <laughs> so maybe you kind of drag race through Rhode Island and the cap, yeah, cops are that, on your tail and then you get out and then you're like, I'm scot-free. 
Welcome to another horse-centric episode where we talk about the fact that horses' finger-like legs carry you as a drag racer I, through Rhode You say finger-like legs. What do you mean? Finger legs. The, 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 just that they, they're opposable like a finger? Wait. Is that what y'all... Do they look like a finger? I haven't seen Wait, a leg that looked like a you finger. Had, you hadn't heard? Heard of what? Horse, horses' legs are closer to fingers than actual legs, apparently. What does that even mean? Hey, I know how this loss started. It happened in Rhode Island, so it must have been from a Family Guy episode. Peter Griffin must have done something. Oh. Yeah, it pissed off the city and they made a law about it. I, it probably season nine or some shit. We don't yeah. need to talk okay. about it. Let's go watch the episode now. Fuck this podcast. <laughs> we gotta watch our so, Family Guy. We have to watch <laughs> Family Guy. So, technically speaking, from like a medical standpoint, the part above the knee of the horse is the leg and the part below their knee is not actually like feet it's m closer related to a finger than anything stop because, i like, just talk. don't i just don't <laughs> understand where the connect what what the but, like it, it, it it's in terms of like how the structure of it is is it look it's more like a uh it's more like a finger. And on top of that, the hooves are kind of made of a similar material to fingernails. I'm going to post a video on YouTube titled Why I Left Thoughts on It, and it's going to be 15 <laughs> minutes long, and it's going to be about this episode and the last episode and how I'm learning a lot about horses that I don't like. I'm looking at a horse right now. I'm looking at a picture of a horse, and I, they're just I, – I don't I – don't, the structure inside could be fingers, fine, but they don't look weird. They just look like legs, Sam. It's, you shouldn't hold it against them what the inside of their body looks like. If hold you're going to judge a on. horse from what its insides are, like, what are you going to judge about its outside? Maybe you, you should bigot? judge your inside, yeah. Sam. Yeah. Hold on. I am s trying to send you a picture. Of a horse? I've seen it. I've seen him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of, of like a horse leg. structure. Of the bone structure. I don't. We. It, I don't really care that much. What I do care about is this law. And I want to. I want to talk to y'all about what we should do about it. I, Rhode Island has come to us to see if we should keep this law in act. So repeat the law to me again. I've lost it in the craze. I've lost it in the in the fathoms of life. In Rhode Island, it is illegal to race horses on the highway. So these are obviously your modded horses that have been, you know, they have nitrous in them. They've been modded from yeah, the yeah. original brand version. Um, yeah, I think that you shouldn't be racing on the highway. Uh, people who are taking their horses to work on the highway, I think that's fine. Uh, I mean, you can, you know, it's, we can't ban cars, but yeah. we can ban car drag racing on the highway. I think it's the same with horses. You should ride your horse to work if you so choose. It's fine if you're going a regular 60 miles an hour on your horse. Mm -hmm. But if you start going over, if you start going 70 or even 80. Just follow, share the road. Follow, follow Carlos. You know, it's the same. Share the road. You got to be generous. This isn't, this isn't your road. You know, you don't, th these drivers are just trying to live their life. If you get in an accident and mess them up, then that, that, whose fault is that? It's yours. Did you get that noise as well, Brett? What noise? I... My headphones just like display like a you, you as if to, like oh that's you the need producer to... telling us it's time to move on <laughs> to the next segment. No, you need to no, you need to check your Google Hangout. Oh okay, so oh. I got the notification sound. Okay, yeah. great. I'll guess I'll check my Google Hangout and then. And I would like to say that yeah, if you race your horse through Rhode Island, you're fine as long as you make it out of Rhode Island because they're not gonna chase you that far. They don't have horses equipped for long distance, but you do. Well, what if the cops chase you on a, on horses? Like I think... just said, they don't have horses that are equipped for long distance like you. Rhode Island horses are built for quick bursts of speed that last exactly two seconds. That way they don't run out of the state. Right. Okay, so you say they build horses differently in Rhode Island to mm. accommodate this law. Yes. Do you think there's a big horse racing... There was a whole big horse racing community... Yeah, that brought like, upon this law. Yeah, it was like a thing back in the 90s, and it lasted for like 15 years before yeah, anyone yeah. did anything about it. Yeah. 
I would also like to uh, hear your reactions to the photo I sent to you on the Google Hangouts. Uh, <laughs> if we looked at it and we both went, Ugh. I mean, sure, <laughs> whatever. I don't. That, that's fu they could keep their bones. You I know what? Care. I'm about to become a horse activist and switch my opinion on horses just so I can like defend them because they're not here to defend their fucking finger legs. All right, they're they have their legs. Yeah, we have ours. what horse it's is fine. here to give the counter argument, Sam? <laughs> You are one-sidedly deciding all these facts about horses. Is oh, Sam wait, a, was horse? That a horse? <laughs> Have you been a horse this whole time? Plot twist. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Please don't drag race me across Rhode Island. <laughs> it's unlawful. I'm a horse. I'm a law-abiding horse. I don't want to break the law. Wilbur. Because my legs are like fingers. If I break one, I'll never recover. And so drag racing is dangerous. <laughs> Guys, there's a fucking horse in my room and I need it to get out. Ooh, James. What's the horse's name? What's your name? Scrofulous. Scrofulous? Scrofulous. Thank you for coming on the show. We've been trying to get you for a while. I'm glad you could drop in. Yeah, we'd like to interview you about I'm your happy uh, to be legs. Here. <laughs> I don't like this like vibrato he has in his voice. It's I, really, uh... I, have you tried singing? I, I feel like you'd be great in the opera. Are you talking to me or Scruff Rockless? Both of you. Maybe you should do a duo thing. Uh, but that's asking a lot. <laughs> All right, we have a new fourth member on the podcast, uh, permanently a fourth co-host. Scropulous, thank you for coming on. Ave Maria. See, that's that's beautiful. That's the new that's, national there's anthem. There's no law against horses singing on the highway, and that's that's for good reason. Scropulous with right. golden vocal cords sings on highway. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you just say? I said horse with a golden vocal cord sings on the side of the highway. It's like a it's like a viral <laughs> video, and then maybe afterwards you can. <laughs> it's like the fucking yodeling kid in Walmart. Oh god. Horse. <laughs> horse yodels in Walmart. <laughs> now that see that's an Ellen DeGeneres episode I would watch. You know where she brings the horse on. And the horse is just like yeah you know I really like yodeling. I've been doing it for about three years now. How old are you? Seven. Seven. You know. Like... <laughs> hey, Scropulous, would you take us into our next segment? What is the next segment? I guess it's a thought. It's, it's science thought. <laughs> it's my thought. All right. The next segment is science thought. Oh, thank Are you, you a ghost Please now? Leave. <laughs> oh, God. Please leave, Scropulous. <laughs> well, you don't know. Goodbye, but... Scropulous. Scropulous is gone. Cool. So this made me really laugh before the episode. Yeah, um, yeah, you were you were chuckle fucking away. Not not because um, of like what it says, but just because of where my brain took it. Okay. And it's your body is just an advertisement for your sperm or egg, which is a technically true <laughs> thought if you look think about like biology. Like yes, yeah, yeah, no, it's I yeah. Mean, like think about the peacocks. They got the they literally got a billboard. Like exactly, but I I like. <laughs> I, my first image in my head was like a billboard like we all make a billboard like and it's just us and we're just proudly standing there and it's just like this is what my sperm will make or like it's a tv commercial and it's just like my sperm it can do this <laughs> <laughs> i like and i you like just the point my at yourself sperm, and it can do this okay my egg so... can make this happen mm, that's all okay. me okay i have I have to tell you guys. I'm sure you saw it when you came up and visited, but there is billboards. Yes. I fucked up that grammar. There, yes, there, there are no, there is billboards, tech communications major. There is billboards. There is what billboards they say? everywhere, in, in, I think. There are billboards everywhere in Denton, and there's one that is, I don't know if it's like a North Texas thing, but it's for a place called Mint Dentistry. Mm-hmm. And I all of them boys. say, <laughs> yeah, all of them say we make sexy teeth. And then it's a bunch what? of people dressed up in like, yeah. one's like, one's like a dude in like a tuxedo with like 
the like dentist goggles on. It's all just like sexy models, and like none of them are those like are smiling. The, those like, are none the of them are weirdly their sexual billboards. Yeah, and they're all like okay. they're all like weirdly horny. Yeah, yeah and they're, they're all, all over. They, they're all over Dallas. They're fucking everywhere in yeah, Dallas. Yeah. Oh my like, god. They, they're all over, and it is just this pervasively erotic undertone to it, and I hate it. <laughs> like I see them, and it's just like, just imagine like if that was the billboard that said like. We make sexy sperm. We cr- and then it's. I make oh, sexy sperm with my testicles. My sperm, yeah. not even the product of my sperm. My sperm is sexy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just like alert. It's a little spermota that's like in a fucking tuxedo. Yeah, he's just dapper, very nice. Yeah. Do they even have their teeth shown in these billboards? No, no, no they're, never, they're, smi- they're not even smiling. Their mouths are completely <laughs> closed. And well, you're maybe, like, I don't know if I trust you on these sexy teeth or not because I can't fucking see them. Maybe that's what we should do for our human advertisements. You know, we're obviously not going to show. Well, we're going to show our bodies, right? And like, this is what could happen yeah. if we get together. But maybe we advertise it as something. We go in a different direction with it. Mm-hmm. Like maybe we say that I'm the number one horse drag racer in Rhode Island, mm. and your your kid can be too. Like that's what that's what our kids together could be. Yeah, I won the Agro Crag. Yeah. And your kid could, and Lest our kid together could win the aggro crag again. We can make guts. We could re re air guts. Yeah, we have enough thoughts on a clout. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I've talked to Nick Cannon, who is not the CEO of Nick, Nickelodeon anymore. But we can, I, I'll talk to Nick Cannon. He still has a lot of clout there. He's still the only one I'll talk to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we could see what he thinks about it. About getting getting guts back on. You say anything about Mariah? Huh? Did he? Not that not. It's not more than that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and he also, I also pitched an idea for the horse drag racing thing because I am the number one horse drag racer in. Rhode Did he Island. say more shit about Mariah? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but like, I feel like the number one horse drag racer is a rap song. Number one horse drag racer. That's me. I love Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, it's Lil Uzi and Kendrick and Justin Bieber and DJ Khaled and Chance the Rapper. And, oh, man. And Quavo and Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj and Drake's there. And Drake and Kanye and Kim Kardashian. I only recognized about half those names. And even me. And even me. And even you can be in it. If you enter the, to win the Thought Sauna Sweet Stakes, you the can winner. Be- the winner of of the drag racing tournament in Rhode Island 2018 will be featured in the music video. You can meet M, Brett, Sam. You can even meet me. <laughs> <laughs> Win a surfboard. <laughs> Man, that is a call. A Casio keyboard. I can, you, I can give you an Allen wrench that like came with my bed frame and I built it. <laughs> a bucket, a slide. And everyone, y'all, everyone's going to get slimed. Right. Even the horses. I got, another, Even I got me. another billboard for you. I got another billboard for you for, like, advertising. Okay, great. Great. It's it's a picture of, like, me. And then next to it, it just says, a bucket of slime. Hmm. A Nickelodeon sweepstakes commercial, but it's a Thoughts on a commercial, and it's about me trying to advertise this bomb pussy. <laughs> Okay, that's another great one. Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe there's a billboard of me just playing on my Game Boy and having just a fun time. And it's just like, suck this dick. And suck this dick. It's just, while... a, it's just it's you playing your Game Boy on your couch, and there's this yellow font that just says, suck this dick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the billboard. No, it says, suck this dick if you can find me. And then it's kind of like a Where's Waldo hidden treasure. Oh, Like, I, mean, I give you a map. Oh, there's like in the oh, bottom shit. corner, there's like a magnifying glass and it has a QR code. Exactly. And yeah. you have to like. You have to scale the billboard to scan the QR code. That's the first challenge. Yeah. And yeah. then ooh, like, where it goes from there, if we can't even get into. Yeah. Po- it's like a Pokemon, a Pokemon Go kind of thing. But instead of catching Pokemon, you just like. You, it's me. 
<laughs> you just me. You just catch yeah, just one me. member of Thought Sauna. Yeah, I guess. Well, Thought if you catch Sauna one go. member of Thought Sauna, you get all three of them. <laughs> it's not hard to get the other two once you get one. Yeah, we we will snitch on the others. Uh, yeah, absolutely. No hesitation. We're like, oh, they're hiding behind the bushes. They're hiding behind the bushes. Like, come oh on, my man. God. Fuck that kid. You know what? Fuck that kid. <laughs> yeah, when you're playing hide kid, and fucking seek like... and I can't fucking trust you to know where I'm hiding, I'm hiding from it. Not everybody who's playing, you fucking... Ugh. It's like, uh, I'll, I'll help you find the rest of them because you like still want to be in the game. You can't accept that you lost, that you, lost? That you were found. Like, yeah. oh, dude, whatever. Ugh. Also, people who just play hide and seek... Don't... Hide and seek tag. Like, what the fuck are you... What's the point of the yeah. Oh, I found you. Game's over. Like, nah, find me, and then I have a chance to get the fuck out. You know, that, that causes for, like, some creative... You can't just hide in corners anymore. Because yeah. then you'll get tagged immediately. You have to, like... Well, yeah, but then that brings along people who are, like... You know, there's the base that you touch your safe. Yeah. There's the people who are going to hide three feet from that thing. And then suddenly it's like, yeah. okay, are you even... Do you even want to have fun anymore? Well, that's why you make it, like... Well, that's why you play outside. And do you make it, like, a tree that's, like... Not in anyone's yard. Yeah, you make it like a tree that is nowhere near anything good to hide behind. Yeah. And you play it on horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's horse hide and seek tag. Only We only play it on the highways of Rhode Island. <laughs> it's not illegal to play horse hide and seek tag. The, la- the, the last time I, the last memory I have of playing hide and seek is, uh, distinctly reminds me it's not safe for horses because it wasn't safe for me. Because I wound up taking about, ooh, I'd say about an inch wide chunk and like a two inch thick chunk of flesh from my knee. For some reason, I thought you were going to say, because I ended up taking like 20 points of damage. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yeah, I kind of did, I guess. What, where did, where where did you hide in it, in what happened to you? In a blender? What? Where I, were you? Did you get did, when you got tagged by the person? Did you get pushed into like a box of I knives? Was, I was running and I tripped. This was in elementary school. And when I fell, and then I like looked at my knee, and there was a chunk of flesh on the sidewalk that was a rather sizable chunk of flesh. Uh, and then there was a literal hole in my knee. The uh, feeling. The. F- the physical feeling I just had is indescribable, and I never want to feel that feeling again. I never want to feel that feeling again because I was like, oh, no. And then my dumbass eight-year-old self tried to put the skin back in. Uh, Dude! Oh, my God. I'm Well, I'm glad we're at least keeping our pattern of having one gross, disgusting <laughs> conversation in every episode. God. Uh, needless to say, I went to the, I went to the school nurse. Yeah. Limping. What did you get tagged? Did they give you an ice pack? Yeah, I came back and they were like, Sam, you're it. And I was like, fuck <laughs> Oh my God. You went to the nurse and you were like, a hole's missing in my knee. And she gave you an ice pack and some crackers and sent you on your yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit ass nurses yeah. at elementary school. I'm like, I'm dying. And they're like, here's a... Great. Here's a plastic like, what am I bag. supposed to do about that? <laughs> Here's a plastic, Here's a plastic bag, bag with, with cold with water and a paper towel. towel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep uh, them in my mini fridge. Here you go. <laughs> love. love. We're putting that funding in the right place, guys. The stressed yeah. in dessert poster on the door. Oh, hey, wait a second. Hey, what's that hiding over? Th- what's that hiding over there in the behind the pillow? Oh, it's the third and last segment. Oh, I need a, a tag. I got it. You're it, Sam. You're it, Sam. I don't care if you have a chunk missing out of your knee. You're it. Go. <laughs> okay, Brett. I appreciate the effort you put into the segue. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to count down from so, 30 while we hide. <laughs> so, <laughs> one, two, three. So, this dream comes to us from our own Discord server, uh, submitted by Mineyful. And uh, this is like our first thing. Yay! Submission! (laughs) Mighty Full, I'm so sorry it took us this goddamn long to get to you. Yeah, you're you've been like sitting in that server for like a month. But I mean And we we I cannot tell you how much we appreciate and treasure you. Your first submissions though, 
you you took us to your Reddit, and the dreams there were about eight paragraphs long, and they were disturbing and depressing. And you understand why we can't use those, right? <laughs> you understand why we can't use your chapter long dreams? It's because it's a, like a thirty minute. I did, podcast. however, find them extremely interesting to read, and I would love. I I did I did enjoy I did enjoy them. However. <laughs> We appreciate very every much person like the... who interacts with us. Join our Discord server. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> but at the same time, I very much appreciated the one, the very quick and brief one you submitted to us that I guess Brett and Cyan haven't read because I, they don't I, go on Discord. I, I read it this me. morning. I, I, I read it when I woke up. Okay. Brett, you, this is your first genuine reaction. So Yeah. Our, fr- our, our friend Mineyful said, I had a dream where I used a gummy bear gun to kill a demon in an RPG because I was sucked into a PSP. <laughs> well, okay then. See, and that's now, it. I had to do some digging and asked Mindyful uh, if the gun fired gummy bears or if the gun itself was a gummy bear. And they responded by telling me it fired gunny, gummy bears. Did it look like a gun? What Did it look like a Nerf gun or did it look like, was you it like know, a AK-47? I didn't ask that. Well, I guess we got, uh, you know, we got to fill in the blanks, right? Maybe he didn't even remember. Yeah. All right. So now my first instinct is, was this a, like, OG PSP or was it a PSP Vita? (laughs) Did he specify a PSP Vita? Uh, He just said PSP. Or they just said PSP. If it's a PSP, go to page 42. If it's a PSP Vita, go to page 57. A choose your own adventure book. <laughs> yeah, guys. No, let's talk about the alternate realities that would change everything if it were a PSP or a PSP Vita. <laughs> so we all know the differences yeah, between the yeah. two, right? The PSP Vita had a screen, right? And it was like the PS3 menu. It had a lot of interactivity. And the PS Vita... And so the dream, he's firing the gummy bears at a demon? Yes, and it's in an RPG. Now, I would like to discuss the possibility of a gritty Candyland RPG. Okay. Uh-huh. Where, where, like, you're the master of candy or something. You're the candy-born, dude. You're the candy-born. You're a rogue candy soldier who's going against the candy government. You're going to kill the candy king. That's become corrupted by the demon. Yes. Yes, because the only thing that's candy... Ah, they're making everything with artificial sweetener and you don't like it, so you're going to put a stop <laughs> to it. Cane sugar only. There's a lizard. There's a... Okay, uh, stay on track. We, we're, we're getting somewhere with this dream. We're, we're analyzing yeah. this. We, we only like pure sugar. Yeah, the, only real shit. The, the, the candy king, he's like, I need more. Splenda. I need more Splenda. Yeah. I no, need only more cane sugar. Please stop, Candy King. I've enlisted the help of Satan. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I'm con- now I'm convinced this might be the plot of an episode of Codename Kids Next Door. This might be Sony's next big movie. R- released only on the <laughs> PS Vita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When's that? Speaking of when that when is that fucking Sly Cooper movie coming out? Dude, it's never coming out. <laughs> It's never coming out, and I hate that because I want to actually see coming it. Coming yeah. 2016, Sly Cooper. That's like one of the only movies that I want to see. I, I was so excited about it, and I waited two years, and then I waited two more years, and now it's 2018. It's, it's not here. <laughs> but we can get in the process of making this movie based on Mighty Fool's dream. Mm-hmm. where Sly a, Cooper and the Candyland Caper. Maybe, maybe he was Sly Cooper in the dream. Maybe Sly Cooper. Wasn't there like a, uh, no, dude, it's a, it's a Sly Cooper, Ratchet, and Clank crossover. Okay. Oh, and Ratchet and Clank are the ones that make all the candy weapons. And uh, Sly yeah. Cooper there is the one go. that, like, he's the thief that goes in and steals all the fake candy codes. Wait, do you think and it's like... like... He, 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 like, replaces it with real sugar. All right, so do you think it's like this? Ratchet and Clank are like, all right, we need to stop the Candy King. And it's like an Avengers type situation where they're like, all right, get 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 Crash Bandicoot, get Sly we Cooper. Need to assemb- get- <laughs> we need to get all the PlayStation All Stars. Yeah. yeah. Get get, get Spyro. Get get Cole from the fucking uh in infamous series. Get Conkers. 
Okay, so these are just anthropomorphic animal characters. I'll get all the furry video oh. game characters. We need to get all the furry video game characters and the guy from Infamous. <laughs> and the guy from <laughs> 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 we'll we'll be honest. He's the only one that actually has any real powers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, just has Spyro's a, got some cool ass shit. Spyro can do, shoot flames and he can glide. Yeah. And Conker like has a gun. Conker has a gun. Conker has a gun. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot spins, but Bubsy also has a gun. <laughs> But the guy from Infamous actually does have lightning powers, and he will kill a man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so in this... And in like this... the whole thing is like, it's got a good and bad morality system. <laughs> <laughs> you can either get sucked into the fake sugar cult, yeah, or you can stay true mm-hmm. to yourself. If you do the fake sugar, you have more powers. Mm-hmm. It's easier for you to destroy enemies. Uh, if you do but the you pure have sugar... less allies. Huh? But if you do the bad way, you have less allies. And so it technically does make the game harder. Yeah, see? Well, you lose your sanity. And, of course, you have different voice dialogue options. You know? Uh, Wait, is this a video game now? I thought it was a movie still. It can... It can be both. It's an interactive movie. It's yeah. an interactive. Everybody in the audience in the theater has a controller. <laughs> Mass Effect. Twitch, can't... Twitch plays this movie. Twitch plays this movie that we made. <laughs> Twitch plays Sugar Mass Effect Fighter. Candyland AU. <laughs> it's just going to be called Candy. Candy. And, and it will make the poster look like it's a drug thing. Yeah. People are like, is this like a. Is this a drug movie? It's gonna be Is this real a hard gritty. movie? Like, yes. Yeah, it's going like, to be like... All caps, oh, it's big, gonna... bold font, candy. Yeah. For some reason, Walter White is still involved in the movie. <laughs> sure. Walter White from or like Breaking that Bad? Act, that, or the actor. Walter White okay. from Breaking Bad. Okay. okay, he makes all the fake candy. He makes all the fake sugar. He's like the Candy King's second hand man. He's yeah, the you candy there, maker. And Walter White's like, I have $80 million. Like, they kill him and... Like, he dies, and then the real Candy King comes out and is like, you didn't think that he would, like, <laughs> and we're like, no, I thought you died years ago. And yeah. then it's revealed the Candy King is actually Cole from Infamous's father. <gasps> Plot twist. But I want Cole to still be very far in the background and not a focus at all in this mm-hmm. movie. Oh, like, it's yeah, his dad, no, but they don't like... even, like, ref- like, none of them recognize him. They don't even yeah. say it in the movie. Like the characters don't even acknowledge it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's they just it's don't literally care. like someone someone gets that out of us out of like an interview where they're like, so how is the Candy King related to any of these characters? And you're like, oh, he's Cole's father, and then also like he's the main antagonist. And they're like, wait, wait, back up, what? And you're in, like, yeah, he's the, well, the, in the main antagonist. You watch the movie, right? And they're like, no, no, before that, you're like, well, he's King Candy. In the movie, there's the scene when the big reveal they re- reveal who the Candy King is. There is. There is a shot where it shows Cole's face and he's like, da! but it immediately gets cut off by a conquer uh, saying a poop joke. Yeah. Yeah. Like, farts are for fun. <laughs> and that's what the billboard oh, says conquer. for the movie. <laughs> farts are for fun. It's like all the characters and then like conquers highlighted and it just says farts are for fun. No. Nope. Tw- hashtag 2019 movie. That's his personal poster. Like each character gets their own poster. Okay. Oh, yeah, dude. Right? And yeah. it shows like their personality and his oh, says great. farts are for fun. Yeah, and then we have like a Guardians of the Galaxy esque like group shot poster. Oh yeah. for sure. Oh yeah, duh. Yeah. <laughs> uh Mindyful, congratulations. You made one of the greatest movies of all time. It'll it will be directed yeah, and is... produced by us. Yeah, you're gonna get like uh maybe two percent royalties. Uh, we can work on it. Well, together. With how much money that this, with no, how much money this, two percent. Okay. With how much money this movie's gonna make? Mindyful will be rich even off of that two percent. Oh yeah, for sure. Mhm. Uh, what does this dream represent? I don't know, man. D- Our filmmaking prowess and how we will go. We're gonna quit the podcast industry and yeah. go big. We're in Hollywood now, baby. <laughs> this. Yeah. You only had this dream to show us how great we are at everything we do so really thank us mindyful thank us mindyful we'll be expecting hey you know what actually pay us pay us for this this, instead of two percent royalties you should you pay us 98 percent royalty you we're gonna make the movie you pay us a hundred dollars to make it 
hundred dollars each. It's not a big budget, Mm-mm. but I don't like this hubris we have suddenly developed. <laughs> no, I I, really I think don't. we should go with it. I think we should have this big inflated ego for the rest of this podcast's run. How long yeah. is that? You sound like you're so sure it will end. Well, we're about to do the movie, Sam. We gotta take some like we gotta take some time off. We gotta have a little hiatus. The season's ending. See you <laughs> for see you in season three. Welcome to the season finale of Thoughts on a. And while while you're while you're kind of sobbing, while you're kind of crying that the series is on hiatus, you can watch our past episodes anywhere podcasts are found. We have all social media, Facebook, Instagram, everything. Uh, and that is it. Uh, I really appreciate that everyone did bring their own towel this time. Uh, it, it really shows a lot to me that you all really Mindyful did actually respect brought towels this. for everyone. It was really nice. Thank you, Mindyful. That was nice. You're still not. You're still getting only two percent. Um, Maybe 2.5. So we are going to put those towels in, in the closet. So if any new members don't, you know, you know, be responsible about it. Bring your own towel. We'll have spares now. Um, yeah. So let's all go into the sauna and enjoy our time. All right. Great. That was probably our most peaceful that re- ending. That was really, yeah. It's just like serene, you know? Yeah. Oh, wait, Sam, any last words? Uh... Uh, thought you were getting off scot free with this one, huh? Yeah, I'm not letting you off that easy. Sugar free gummy bears cause diarrhea. Great. You want to do an alternate kind of last <laughs> phrase just in case that one doesn't make the cut? <laughs> Sugar free gummy bears cause stomach problems. That's a that's better. Brandon no, dude. Mary that's like if you read the if you read the Amazon. DVR I'm telling you guys, go read the go read the Amazon reviews for sugar-free gummy bears. I will not. Thank you for listening. <laughs>